With 2023 now coming to an end, 2024 seems like a new year and lots of prospects and good things happening for many companies. Now, within the drone industry, I would actually disagree. I think 2024 is going to be a defining year for the drone industry, and I don't think it's going to be a good one. And I'm going to talk about that right now. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, and we are talking about 2024 and the lack of anything happening in this industry. Now, what I'm going to talk about is what I know from ongoing you know, operations or no operations from around the world. And mainly I will be talking about issues happening here in Europe because we have a lot of projects going on, but a lot of these projects are actually EU funded. So they're funded from, from the European Union and they will have a purpose, they will have a subject, but they don't have any customer related matters that at the end of these projects that there would be a customer waiting to say, yes, this is what I want. The roadmap is always a to B, B to C, and then that's it, it's over. Now, there's a lot of money going into these uh, research projects. Uh, they can be drone delivery, they can be BV loss, um, but, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you can fly a drone all you want, but if you don't have a customer or, not, or an application in order to take it further, then that project is completely pointless. And... That is what I see a lot. I see a lot of these projects where they are completely pointless. They might have a good idea, but if you don't have an end customer, if you don't have a roadmap to take that at the end of the project, then that money is a complete waste of money. And I see that a lot. Now, what else is happening? Well, 2024, we should start seeing urban air mobility coming into major cities around the world. And uh, one of those that we know is happening in Paris because Paris uh, would be a, a good test bed for the air taxis. And this is gonna happen or supposed to happen during the Paris Olympics. And uh, this has now been agreed for over a year. And of course, I said that this wouldn't happen because I, 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 I didn't think it would happen. and. It seems that that is the case because the, the uh, Paris City Council have turned around and said that they don't want this because they don't see any point in it and it's going to be a complete waste of time. Um, why wasn't this discussed with the Paris Council beforehand? Because it seems to be that news comes out, certification and, 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 and vertiports and whatnot, but no one talks to the people that make the decisions in order to make this happen because now it seems that the Paris uh, municipality have said that no we don't want it because it's a waste of time why why wasn't this done beforehand um i really really don't know and and i think that this there's there is a very dislodge in how decisions are being managed especially in europe i think it's a bad thing now we also seen something happening in the, in, in the past couple of weeks in Singapore, where, where a volocopter have had to stop due to lack of funding. If you are losing funding in a place like Singapore, that says more than anything else, because Singapore is one of, one of the most wealthiest countries out there. And if we can't get it to work in Singapore, where are we going to get it to work? So I see some real issues. Now, I think that a lot of these other issues are coming from the uh, authorities, the FAA and the EASA and the UKCAA. There is a massive dislodge between uh, these entities and the public. And when I say the public, I mean the business end as well as the hobbyists as well. The authorities are not talking to us. They, they don't talk to us. If you think of just an example of what we do, and we do a lot, we fly a lot of operations, whether it's our inspections, whether it's our drone light shows and whatnot. And they ask that, don't talk to us. They actually don't come and speak and say, what are you doing? What do you need? Or what do you need help with? Or, you know, what can we do in order to make things a lot better? That never happens. And this is becoming a big problem because the dislodge between the authorities and us is now becoming rather, let's say it's becoming... Uh, 
it's becoming annoying because they don't know what we do and they're making decisions now for us based on what they know. And to be honest with you, when I read these documents that they actually produce, I don't think they know very much. I don't know if any of these people are flying drones. Now, I know that there are people in these projects that I talk to uh, who literally, and I'm not even paraphrasing here, but this is what they say, they don't give a shit about drone companies. They don't give a shit about what we do. I know that because they've told me. <laughs> so I, I, I know in reality what is going on. Now, there are millions of euros getting put into these projects and if they don't give a shit about what we do how the hell are we supposed to have a future in this industry that's a good question isn't it maybe someone in let's say the faa or or even the asa or even the ukca can maybe answer that because right now i can't okay what do you think what do you think 2024 is going to lead for you um, do, do you see a, you know, a bright horizon? Do you, do you see anything positive coming in? Um, I personally don't, but of course I'm always optimistic. Um, looking from a legislation perspective, I think that things are not good. Things are, and things have to change very, very quickly. Otherwise, we are not going to have an industry beyond 2024. Thanks everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and like this video because we need to get this out further. It has to go far. Okay. Have a good Christmas and a pleasant new year and fly safe.